My name is Min San Cha. I'm a rising senior at Yale University, majoring in Global Affairs and East Asian Studies. My name is Jennifer. I'm from Canada. I'm interning at the North Korea Strategy Center this summer. My name is Daniel Bay, and I'm a current rising senior enrolling in an international school here in South Korea. I'm currently working as an intern at KSC. So my name is Sarah Mack, and I am a rising junior at the Georgetown School of Foreign Service. So I'm really excited to be working for NKSC. It's always been an issue that's quite personal for me. This, as someone who is Korean, I always had the question, why not me? Why them and not me? My grandfather was someone who was raised in like the northern part of the peninsula before it was divided, um, and he's never been able to be reunited with his family. I actually was privileged enough to go to areas bordering North Korea. Reading articles is one thing, but actually seeing North Koreans right in front of your eyes, going to that border area, stepping on the borderline between China and North Korea, it's like a whole different experience that you know you just can't portray with words. I first became interested in North Korean human rights while I was an exchange student in South Korea. I came across some articles, documentaries, and memoirs written by North Korean defectors. I decided from that point that I really wanted to use my opportunity as an exchange student in order to help people who need it. While working at NKFC, I'm going to be in charge of social media, so if you're watching this on Facebook, chances are I uploaded it. I'll be working with Sarah in regards of all the social media stuff that NKSC in general and NKSC US office needs. I work on a program called Storytellers for Change. It's an empowerment program for defectors because we need to hear more voices from people who have first-hand experience. And we tend to paint North Korea with one wide brush, and I don't think that's enough. I'm really excited to learn how to engage people who aren't already involved. I think the North Korean human rights community is really tight-knit. However, I also do think that we need to attract more people from a less directly connected background. So people who maybe haven't done work directly with human rights or with North Korea. And I think that we have all these tools at our disposal like Facebook and like Twitter. And we're able to reach so many people regardless of their location. So I would like to expand that global community even more if I can. My favorite thing since I got here was, I have to say, the people and the amazing tenacity and resilience that they show and the optimism they still have that they can still make a difference. It's really inspiring. Working with refugees one-on-one, -on -one, you realize that these are people's lives that you're talking about. What goes on within the regime is so much more important than some of the dialogue that goes on on the diplomatic level.